was dangerous. Oh, oh shit! And that's the way we're kicking off Send It Sunday this week. Week number two of the Send It Academy here in Cape Town. Me and Colin Whippy Dixon have put 10 senders through their paces. And I'll tell you what, it's not been an easy week. We have been Elans Bay first day and it was cranking. And it was cranking, yeah. We were seeing all sorts of stunts being thrown down. Obviously not big waves, but really good to kick off the clinic with some full power action. Danger. Oh. Second day, yeah, big wave. Well, second and third day, I should say. We had some big waves. Not easy again conditions. Started off with a bit of float and ride, but there was a lot of water moving around. We did a lot of work on the beach about how to not break masts, which worked out pretty good and pretty useful by the end of the day. What a beast. Whoa, mamma mia. Walking on, logging on, still breathing, still breathing. No, I can't talk. Sure, about it. Still breathing, still breathing. I'm not afraid to fall. Still breathing, still breathing. I'm standing ten feet tall and I'm still breathing. Oh, it's a two turner. Did he do what we told him?
And then we move back to Cape Town for day number four, and it delivered. A little bit too good. We had mast high sets on the outside uh, and we did a lot of forward work on the inside. Woo! That's what I want to see. I tell you what, there's got to be a shout out for Arno. I think he's what, 57, 58? He said he'd come on the clinic to kind of push him out of his comfort zone, but he is a full sender, just full commitment, cheesing it up, then he moved it around. He's going for the old crazy push loops later in the week, more on that in a minute, but actually hats off to everyone because everyone was full send. Not an easy day again, but uh, definitely delivered for what we needed. And then we had a couple of days up in Paternoster, so more driving, uh, a little bit cross offshore, so off and on, but a good chance to boost some aerials.
again, like not easy and lots of people, a lot of people up in Paternoster. So like I say, tricky conditions, but honestly, everyone on the clinic was just having it. After Paternoster, it was back to Cape Town for the last day of the clinic, which you can see behind me. We've just finished and I was stacked on 4-0. I see Jules Dinell just came in on 3-3. Three, three. Everyone on the clinic again, full send. We started off in sunset this morning. It was raining, it was cloudy. It looked a bit like the UK, I've got to be honest. And everyone going for it. Some late hits, some crazy late hits. from this day because we've got some uh, pretty elderly gentlemen, yes. Punishment on the jumping. Maro, we had Mike, we had everyone just going for it full big time. Uh, and then we finished off here in Big Bay, absolutely ballistic. Like I say, Jules Dinell just coming in on 3-3. Three, three. It was absolutely crazy. I think I went up for one forward and the whole thing just got shook out of my hands. Ended up coming down. I think I've done some internal injuries, but such a good way to finish the clinic. Gotta say, difficult week, really hard, but everyone just full on it, and that's what we want to see. So if you want to be on a clinic, we got no chance. We are fully booked, but we are going to do a two-day forward clinic this week in Cape Town. So if you're in Cape Town and you want to master the forward, maybe you want to get a bit better and you've not quite got them landed, or you just want to try your first ones, we're doing mass participation, maybe 10, 15, maybe 20 people all on the beach in a row. We're going to film it two-day course, get in touch if you want to be involved in that. And if you can't make it to Cape Town, I'll tell you what, you could go to Tenerife because Colin Whippy Dixon has got some clinics in Cabezo, I think in March. Um, look on windsurfingcoaching.com. All the dates will be on there and he's going to be in full motion over there. So if you want to go to the Canaries, you don't fancy coming away to Africa, that's where you're going to be. <laughs> Oh, go on, Van Dan. Keep <laughs> uh, We're kicking off after this with week number three on the fourth. 
and the senders are already turning up. I saw a couple of them today. The forecast has just been epic here in Cape Town. There we go. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it wherever you are in the world. I hope that has motivated you to go for your first moves. You've got to push yourself out of your comfort zone. That is what's going to make you enjoy your windsurfing. That's what's going to take you out of that dip that you're in. You know you want to. Get yourself on a clinic. Let's go. Oh, and there's only one thing left to say that no matter where you are in the world, don't forget to send it! Oh! <laughs>